Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Welcome back to another City Skylines episode. My name is Sports Monkey, and welcome back to my channel. For today, I wanted to get into how to get the best graphics for City Skylines in 2022. So that is one of my most asked questions was, how do you get such good graphics? So let's get started. Okay guys, so the very first thing I'd like to do to dig into the City Skylines graphics mods is, the it's not even a mod, but I would like you to go to the options button and go over here and click on resolution. Now, the very first thing you need to realize is what kind of monitor do you have? If you have a 4K gaming monitor, make sure you actually move the resolution to the maximum amount you can possibly have. If you have a 1080p monitor, well, you have to make sure that your graphics can only be maxed out at 1080p. That little tidbit took me forever to figure out when I was trying to buy a new graphics card. And it just it's just something that's very simple, but yeah, you know, just something that not many people know about. Okay, for my first mod I want to go into, it is called Dynamic Resolution. So as you can see at the top left of your screen, you can see a couple things going on. You can see my FPS is about 22 frames per second. Then you can also see the internal resolution. So the internal resolution is what the game is currently playing at. Now, again, you saw earlier in our options that I was playing at 4K, but what this dynamic resolution does is if you only have a 1080p monitor or you're playing the game at 1080p in the options, you can actually adjust the internal resolution of the game. So like I mentioned before, I had an RX 580 GPU, which was not the greatest GPU for 4K gaming. But what I used to do is I used to move this bar up to 150 and to 175%. This way we kind of cheat the system and we would have a higher resolution than the game would normally produce. And it turned out great. So that is my first and number one City Skylines graphics mod you should download. So let's keep going. Okay, so for my second mod that I'd like to show off to you guys, it is called a LUT. So how do you find a LUT? Well, first and foremost, go back to that main option screen and you're gonna see a bunch of different LUTs that I downloaded from the City Skyline Steam Workshop and you're gonna be like, well, what is the difference between all of these different LUTs? Well, there's gonna be a slight, the overall theme, or I should say the overall color scheme of the entire map will technically change and it'll be based on the LUT you downloaded. So we're gonna just go over to options. We're gonna change out of the LUT. The, I'm gonna be honest with you, the most popular LUT that most City Skylines people, play, you know, City Skylines YouTube channels use is probably the Relight Neutral. And as you can see the relight neutral, things are a lot darker. You could see that the grass is very dark. The dirt roads and everything is just, it's a little bit different looking than what I had before. And it's just overall just a little bit darker. Now, if we go back to the other LUT I was using before, you can see that things will actually brighten up. Now we gotta find that LUT and there it is. And hit apply. And then you can see, like I said, overall, the colors seem to pop a lot more depending. So basically, depending on what LUT you want, you can actually choose based on the map you're playing on. So just giving you ideas on what the LUT does. And it does add a lot to your city. It makes it look a lot better. And again, this it just makes the colors pop. So that's just something to keep in mind when you are playing. Now the next thing that goes along with the LUTs is actually theme. So you're gonna see this little little icon, I guess. I don't know, it looks like a road icon. And what you can do is you can mix and match themes from, from different city skylines, LUTs, and stuff like that. So what you can do is you can actually click on it and then it'll basically change everything over to what the th basic theme is. Now. That was probably a bad idea on my end because I really, there, oh, there's what I was using before. Okay, but when you are, you know, changing your theme, you can actually change the overall look of the map. Again, it is basically the same thing as a LUT, but um, you get to have a little bit more control over it. So like, for example, if you go over to the terrain and you can see over here, so first and foremost, I cannot move this little window. So, um, you know, just bear with me, but, you see the cliff to the right you can see that 
what we can do is we can change different color textures to it. So look at, you can see that it's turning different colors and you can see as different shades and the overall look of it is just very different from what it originally started with. So it's pretty cool how that all works out. So you can do that with different things like the pavement, the grass texture, like say if, hey, we wanted a brighter grass, we can use that. Now, oof, that does not work very well with this map, but you know, Again, you can change different things, mix and match your LUTs and the themes together. And you can even mess around with the color of the water. Like if you're looking for, you know, something that's more oceany, if you're looking for something that's more of, uh, I'm not, I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna know what that is. I'm not really sure. But um, essentially you can mix and match all the themes and LUTs together and just to make it make your map look like, you know, just customize it to your liking and, you know, it, it adds to the overall graphics and feel of your City Skylines game. So, so for my fourth mod, I want to get back into what's called the Ultimate Eye Candy mod. And what the Ultimate Eye Candy mod can do is it can control the daylight or where the sun is positioned on the map. So if we go to the globe light intensity, this is just bringing down the intensity and overall you can see that, you know, it's getting nighttime you know you're turning down the light of the sun and it's basically just making it darker outside and then the light intensity does the same thing you can make it very bright but i generally keep it try to keep it in the middle now what what you can do over here is i'm going to go to the edge of this map and we're just going to kind of look on the horizon a little bit so we're going to move this map a little bit so right now you can kind of see this where the sun is reflecting now Right now the day night cycle is, you could see that it's disabled. Now what you could do is you can actually move the sun up and down. So what you can see is I, I created it, it's about 6 a.m. and it's about sunrise. And you can just create a different atmosphere. Look, it looks like the sun is rising. You could see the sun over here. And it looks overall pretty cool that you're able to do this and you can change the long, the longitude of it so where the sun is positioned so again you can just kind of move around the, the sun and it, that's exactly what the power of the ultimate eye candy mod does now now you do when i am recording i do have it about noon so you don't have any shadows or anything like that and i'll just come over here and show you guys exactly what i mean by that so depending on where the sun is is um positioned in your game you will have the shadows from the buildings and it's pretty cool how detailed that is so that's just something to keep in mind when you're using ultimate eye candy um, like I tried to explain to you before, I try to keep things at about noon or midnight so when everything's straight on so you don't have those shadows, especially when you're trying to detail or something like that, works out pretty well. So that is called the Ultimate Eye Candy 1.5.2. And um, you know another option you have is you can edit the weather and you can see the fog from that and then also you're back to your LUTs. I would say LUTs are probably the most important thing when you are actually, you know, trying to add to the graphics of your City Skylines game. Okay, so for my fourth mod, I would want, or fourth or fifth mod, I don't know, some of these are overlapping, but for my fourth or fifth mod, I would like to go over the ultimate level of detail. So what that is, is you could see on the screen that it shows the distance of the objects of when they will load. So for example, um, the tree load distance, the prop, you could see vehicles, you can see shadows. So basically this controls when everything loads. Now you can, I have a pretty powerful PC at the moment and I have my distances pretty far back where everything is still loaded. So you could see what my settings are for this. Now I am all the way zoomed out and you can still see cars, you can still see the trees. Now if you do not have the ultimate level of detail, you'll basically a lot of this would be very blurry. So that's those are my top graphic mods that I would suggest that you download. But thank you guys for watching. I greatly really appreciate it. Have a great rest of your day.